Hey team, okay, so this is the elite version of the Blitz. So we've already uploaded the beginner version of it. So the beginner version is just breaking down the Blitz and how it works, why it works, and how we do it step by step. And there's four steps to it. So the four steps we've got, you've got the lean over one, strike on two, step three, four. So show you again from this angle here, lean over one, strike on two, three, four. Now, I advise you go back to that level first of all. Go and watch that video, break it down, make sure you're happy with it. I've also done an advanced team level one. Now, the advanced team one is obviously we know as an elite team that moving to the side, the change in our footwork is more realistic, inspiring, and also it gives us an advantage. So if I change angles, I come in on a new, a, a new angle, it gives me an advantage against my opponents. So go and watch the advanced team one and see how we do our footwork drill to create side steps into our blitzes. Now, it's for you guys, I've got a more elite footwork drop. So you've got to be patient with this. It seems very similar, it's simple to start with, sorry. It seems very simple, but I'm going to break it down. It's something you've got to practice a few times. Once you get it, it's going to make your blitzes fly. And the reason why is because you're changing angles, we've got a rhythm to it, and the flow takes you off. Now, you want to think of blitzes like this, right? Imagine a magician. A magician could pick your pocket, can change things, can put something in your pocket, really, really easy. What it does is, to make sure it works and to make it more entertaining for you, it tells you this massive story over here. It says, look, look at all this, look at all this, what it changed from your pocket. Okay, so it's, it's, it's sending your, your vision over to one side and your whole brain, your mind onto one thing while it hits you with something else. Okay. So what we're gonna do is the same thing but with the blitz. We want the person, remember, at the end of the day, a blitz is just a reverse punch to the body, a basic blitz. There's lots of different versions. But your basic thing is, most of them will score with this. How do you make this, like the magician, put it in your pocket, how do you make this invisible? We make it by moving around and selling them lots of different things, like smell this, smell this, smell this, smell this, smell this, bang, taste this, okay? So here, I've set it two cones. You can do this with cushions or toilet rolls, whatever the, the, the current gag is. So whatever you want, I've set the two cones out. Now I'm gonna go right leg forward, so it's easy for you to follow if you're a left leg forward person. I advise you to try both, try left leg and right leg. So I'm going to go right leg forward here, and when I face this way, I'll be left leg forward the same way most people face. Now we're going to start here guys, ready? In front of the one cone on the one side with the one marker. Now I've got my normal stance, and my number one is going to do four steps. Four steps are going to follow. So we've got step one, I bring my front foot back. It brings it back to here. Step two, I sidestep across to my open side. Step three, my front foot follows. Step four, I lean forwards. Now, if you saw the advanced team one, I explained how the lean forwards is very important. I also did on the beginner team one, but I'll see a little more broken down, is that if you don't get that lean forward, guys, what you end up doing is you're gonna go from here, and you do this, and you're pulling your chin away, and your foot's forward, and you can't blitz from here. And so many people are blitzing like this, and they're not committed, and they end up doing this with the foot to try and drag them close to the target, and they're pulling their chin back, and they're not blitzing, they're half stepping, right? So it's really important on this one, two, three, and four, we lean into it. Now, you're not always going to blitz. Now, the thing is, is that we want to make it believable that we're attacking, then we're not attacking. We're attacking, we're not attacking. So they're thinking, well, is he testing me? Is he faking? Is she moving to the side on purpose? Is she going to blitz on this go? So what I'm doing is, I want to think that they're safe, but are they? So they're second guessing. Remember, I want to get in their head so they're following me, but also like they don't know what to believe, right? So I'm controlling what they're thinking, right? So let's go for it again. So we've got one, two, three, four. Ready? Going the other way. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, lean four. Back for one. Back leg moves across to the new position, the new cone, in line with it. On the two, realign on three, get closer on four. Pull back, make them safe. I'm going to give you some other tips on why that's good in a bit. Two, realign, new angle. Three, follows. Four, temps, tastes, 
smells, maybe blitzes. Okay. I'm going to face you the way so you can follow me. Ready? One, we back. Two, across. Three, realize. Four, knees forwards. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A bit like a dance, isn't it, right, guys? Yeah. A bit like a dance, you have to break it down, understand it till it happens naturally, right? Don't worry, I'm not going to start dancing. So, ready? Let's go a bit faster, ready? One is back. Two, three, in four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, what I want to try and do here, ready, guys, let's get these hands involved. One, on two, ready? I'm going to send my hand the opposite way. Bam, look over there. Remember? Magician. When I go to three, it comes back in. Four, it's out. One, all the way. Two, three, four. Straight on the go. One. All the way, so I go the opposite way to my leg. I'm going, I'm over exaggerating, I'm going quite far. Send them this way, so I want you to see it as well. Two, three, I've done two, so three, and then four. One, two, three, four. Now, once you've got that, guys, with your hand, when it comes to here, ready, when it goes to here, ready, I'm not going to pull back to my guard, I'm going to go from here straight onto them. So I want to be sending them one way, ready? So I'm going to go one, two, ready? From this position. I don't need to come all the way back to here. I'm just going to sell them this. As I move my foot, my hand comes in naturally. And then on four, I'm already on. Bam! On the target. Again, let me show you facing this way, ready? One, two, Three, ready? I'm going to pull back in. Three, four. I'm going to start moving your hand a little bit more. I'm going to teach you how to move the hand a little bit more. But the first process, you're going to, so we're going to focus on what the arm does and on the process and the reasons why. So the reason why it comes back to start with, it's just going back here so that I can make a bigger deal of this bit. So they see it more, ready? Make a big deal of it. It pulls in naturally because I realign. Now I'm on, imagine my opponent is here in the center. I don't want to be on the center line because that center line is their strongest line. So ready, I'm going to go. One, send them. Pulls across. On four, I'm already there. Now there's a little bit in there we want to do something with. Ready, so I'm going to go. One, as I send them here, I am going to drop a little bit. I want to think my hand is going to go this way. It's traveling this way. And it bounces, bang, and then shoots out. So that little bit before it goes. So I'm going to show you from this angle. Ready? So we're going to do it from going this way. Ready? I'm going to go one, send the angle. Go, you hoo, folks over here. As I go like this and I come back, it bounces on three, ready to shoot out to four. I need to think that my hand is fully pulling back. One, two, selling this, three, bounce, four, shoots off. Now the bonus of four, guys, what four does, it enables you to get a little bit closer. But you may remember, guys, really important, when I get that bit closer, I need to get closer with everything. So I'm fully committing to it. The purpose of the drill is to teach you to pull back if you need to. And the pull back could be, I could come back into that defensive cycle, so I pull back here, so I could go. One, two, three, four. One could shoot into that defensive side, couldn't it? So if I do it again the other way, one, two, three, four, one, bam. So I'm ready to let the defensive side. Although that's not what we're teaching today, I just wanted to give you the reason why we drill it, we don't just blitz in every single one. If you blitz in every single time, no matter how fast you are, they know it's coming, not gonna work. Now remember guys, you wanna do this, from a, from a freestyle movement. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then you start adding the hands in. One, two, three, four, bam! And it shoots off. So you've got to have a bit of freestyle with it, so it might seem a little bit like, one, two, robotic to start with, 
but you learn that roboticness to start with just so you can control the feet, put them where you want them to go, put it in position so you no longer have to think about it. You don't want to have to think about your feet too much. You want to be thinking about your points you're scoring. Then you put your own freestyle into it. So you might be, you find you drift a little bit with it and it just curves into this sort of motion. Okay, so I'll show from the other angle, ready? Can you see? I've got to be a freestyle because I'm bouncing. I've got to be ready for a wave and what happened, but it's got to be right for me. The purpose of it you'll see is I keep creating your angles. Now there's one thing I want to get from this now, is when if, you, if you've seen the advanced team video, which I definitely recommend you go and watch, is when you go and watch the advanced team video, they teach one, and we go two straight to the target. And the target is, you'll see here, the center point, one offline, a lift and it's straight into the target. I'm just going to fly at the target. So we went this way, one, in, straight into that target. Then what we're trying to get here is we add in that extra foot so we can play with it. We can play with it, yeah? So, pa -pa -pa -pa, play with it, pa -pa -pa -pa, play with it. And then from there, I might just go straight through. So it might be that my footwork, I do a mix of the two. Remember, if they can see coming, they can defend against it. If they can, re if they can read you and there's a rhythm to you, they will naturally just know what you're going to do next. Without even realising it, because it's didn't, 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 didn't. And they just follow it. So no matter how good your footwork is, if they know it's coming, they're going to be able to defend against it. So what we want is to create a footwork that we don't have to think about and then mix it together with that free stuff. Because guys, it's freestyle spying, right? So the whole idea of freestyle is I need my own character to come out. I don't want the same thing over and over again. Not robots going against each other. So I'm going to show you from this angle, facing away from the camera. In fact, I'll show you cut off stance here. And I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Ready? Blitz is it. Now I'm going to show you that again, guys. Okay, ready? And then I'll show you a way to change it slightly. One, ready? Two, three, four, blitz is in. Now watch how I do it. Now if you see the advanced team video, this will make more sense. So again, I advise, pause it now if you want to. Go back to the advanced team and see what I'm talking about. Here we go. One, two, bam. Can you see that? Straight at the target. Again, again. So instead of going, sorry, my bad. Instead of going one, two, three, four, I went. One, two, straight. In. So I took a shortcut and they got a rhythm of dun 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 dun. It's going this way, going this way, and then it's, then it's just there. You want it to be that it just comes and it's just gone. Right? If they can see it happening and then know what's coming next, then they prepare for their counterattack. You want to think they know what's coming next. So that's why we create a rhythm and then we change it. So I'm going to show you facing this way, ready? I'm going to show you. The elite team footwork that we've just done. One, two, three, four, the blitz comes in. Now let me show you how the, how the, it's the advanced team, and you've got to mix the two together. So one, two, I don't do three, four, ready? I just go from here, in, and land straight down. So it breaks the rhythm a little bit. And I'm going to put the two together now. I'm going to go. One, two, three, four, don't blitz. One, two, three, four, don't blitz. One, two, three, four, blitz. Now I'll show you the advanced team, ready? In there, ready? One, two, three, four, don't blitz. One, two, three, four, don't blitz. One, two, ready? This is where it comes in, the sneak comes in. Instead of three, four, I'm just gonna go. Can you see that? Let's do facing you guys. One, two, three, four. Don't blitz. One, two. Hands in here, shaking his hand. I'm looking for it. Three, four. Don't blitz. One, he's really coming. Ready? Two, from there. I'm not going to go three, four with my foot. I'm just going to go from here, in and straight out. Straight out. So I missed this bit out. I missed this. Bang. I didn't do that bit. And then that bit of blitz, I went. Bang. And you could even do this, right? Even do this. 
pull the one out. Don't do that. Just straight across. It depends on your distance with your opponents. So if I show you without the one, I'm just going to go. And it just changes. So if I mix it up, bang, sometimes I'm here. Sometimes I'm here. Sometimes I'm here. Sometimes I'm just here. And it mixes it up and it makes it. The, the, the opponent doesn't know which angle it's coming from. At the end of the day, guys, you strip it all back, it's just, that's all it is. But how do you make this work against someone at an elite team level? Someone who's super fast, they've got experience of people coming at them. As soon as they see you coming in, bang, they're going to count reverse punch. So we need to change the angle of where that count reverse punch is going to be hitting. If we move side, they've got to move, they follow. Then they, you move this way, they've got to follow again. You keep changing not only the angles, but the distance and the range. So if I keep changing this and range, I'm moving back because I'm sneaking in, that's where that front foot comes in. I'm teasing here, I'm teasing here, I'm teasing here. And sometimes, another trick, you can see this straight line here. Instead of stepping one, two across, what if I do this? One, and I change my angle by stepping closer to the, the target, I'm gonna say camera, which is you, closer to the target, and then there, I've got closer. Because my back foot has travelled closer, my front hasn't until right at that second. I'll show you from this angle here. Not so easy. In fact, I'll show you from here it's because the straight line is making it easy to follow. I go from here, the movement to the side actually goes forwards. Doesn't get close to the target yet because I'm creating a new angle, I've come around the target. Bam! When I step to here, I lean and I've got closer. So you can see this line here. I've got one closer here, bang, closer here, but not until I absolutely need it. So if I move a cone to where I can show you, if that's my target, let's see if you can see that, right? It's quite far away. I'm this far away from the target. Ready? If I step to there, I'm still the same distance in the target, when I come in here, I'm on it. It just lets me sneak new angle and I'm closer, rather than trying to get it from here. New angle and I'm closer. Right, so I'm going to leave you, I'm going to leave you with just one more drill of me doing this, so you can just follow it over and over and over again. Ready? So we're going to go. One, the footwork is the most important thing. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It'll take a while, guys, but trust me. Once you get it, you're going to be rapid with it. You got that? Okay, let me face away from the camera because it might make it a bit easier. Ready? The last one, ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Don't get frustrated, team. The elite team, you can do this, right? Go back to the beginning level, go over that blitz again. Go to the advanced team level, learn the simple footwork to it, then get to the elite team level, and it becomes simple. Trust me. Once you've done it a few times, you'll get the idea of it, then a few more times it'll start flowing, then you start putting the bounce in, you're moving around, and it's just bam, 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 and you're moving, and you're in front of that partner, and you're moving around, the hands are selling, and then you're just gone. Pow! With that bitch. Okay. Hope you uh, got a little bit from that, guys. Practice it over and over again, there's no rush, remember, try it by yourself, practice it slowly, give it a go, let me know how you get on with you guys, have a fantastic day.